Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So uh, today I wanted to talk to you about um, animal transport and uh, the makeshift uh, transport that I made from my TSC trailer. So here are the sheep. They're nice. Uh, nice and comfortable here. There's some bedding on the floor here. They're eating eating that and um, well I want to talk to you about how to do that because um, one of the things about animal transport that's kind of difficult is um, the animals especially things like sheep here are very skittish so um, to be able to transport your animals in this manner you need a lot of planning and uh, you need a lot of patience so we've been training these guys for about two weeks to come come into this uh, trailer and we're at a gas station right now so excuse all the noise um, to be able to come in here, uh, to be able to get in here comfortably, not panicked, uh, it took quite a while. Uh, we had the first, uh, when we first tried, only one of these guys came in um, to go after the feed that we we're giving them. Uh, and then uh, slowly uh, we finally got the, um, the leader to come in and then everyone else came in. They are sheep after all. So, um, so yeah. Part of it is training and the other part of it that I want to talk about is the trailer itself and how to um, comfortably and safely transport these animals. So some of the things I'm about to say, uh, it may sound, um, you know, uh, I guess like common sense, but it really isn't. I mean, you want to go slow with these animals. Uh, you don't want to make jerky motions, stop quickly, accelerate quickly turn really fast all of that good stuff because you don't want these guys to be jostled around um, and you do want to you want them to be protected like here you see I have a front board that protects them from the wind and above they have a, a roof and uh, even some of the side protection here for for other things um, in terms of the road noise and and on the highway and so yeah you want to protect them from that the other thing about your trailer too um, I'm going to just swing around right here you want it to be relatively level to the ground and uh, to your vehicle. So you want to pull relatively flat. And um, yes, you're going to have some weight distribution shifts from the animals moving around in the back. But what you want to avoid is um, is uh, obviously the um, the tail of your trailer swinging about because you have too much weight in the back. Um, too much weight in the front also is not great because it'll sag your uh, vehicle, um, the rear tires. So um, you can err on the on that side and um, and uh, lean them towards the front, I guess. But um, you definitely don't want to lean them towards the back because then they can really um, be scared as well as you if you get into that situation where everything's really bumping around. So now we're stopped and with all this noise at the gas station, they're, uh, they're a little bit more upset. But on the road, they were great. They loved it. And one last thing too, um, you know, to, to be able to level your trailer out with your vehicle, you want something that adjusts. So uh, in this case, I'm using a trailer, a hitch ball that goes up and down to be able to level um, my vehicle with the trailer. So you want that as well. So these are some of the, uh, the tips uh, that I'm using to uh, haul my animals to my friends. And, um, and uh, that's it. So enjoy this video and uh, say goodbye guys. Alrighty, shalom.